a good leader eventually comes to say, okay, the buck stops with me. Like, what is it that I need to help the team do better? But just in general, I think the first thing is oftentimes frustration of feeling like in that moment when you feel like your team is doing a great job on a specific task, you're like, okay, it makes you feel really proud. At least for me, it makes me feel really proud when I'm away and I know that my team is managing stuff and they do it really well. Um, but then also when there's gaps, then it makes me un- like ask the question of like, all right, I mean, that's not the first question I ask, but usually the second or third question is like, all right, what can we do better to to prevent these gaps from happening again? Awesome. So I noticed you mentioned about, um, you know, kind of what is a good scenario. Mm. So I want to take a step back and I would just want to focus on the frustration for this part of yeah. the conversation, because I do think that that's something that we don't really talk much about. Because when I think about like a leader being frustrated, most of the time they don't have anybody else to go talk to. Or sure. sometimes I've seen some leaders, they'll go talk to their staff, like the, the people or the person who is frustrating them, they'll go talk to their staff. And what it, a lot of times what it does, it, it breaks that, I guess you would say, that professional respect. <laughs> that people may have for their leader sometimes if you're venting to the staff yeah, as a leader. Yeah, and you know what, to be honest, I feel like when, I mean, I've, I've been, I've had direct reports for probably 10 plus years of maybe like eight plus mm-hmm. years from corporate to like owning the business. Cause even if, actually probably more than 10 years, 20 years as the first child, first born daughter of my mother <laughs> and having younger siblings. I mean, let's be honest, right? There's leadership everywhere. So not just on the business side, if you just think about on the personal side, I have probably been a leader most of my life. I mean, as an older daughter. But I think the question that always comes, oftentimes what happens is when you step into the space where you go to vent to someone who is basically you are leading, Mm -hmm. I feel like oftentimes what happens is it then becomes you end up supporting them. Because you coming into the situation, you're like, all right, this is like, for example, if, and I'm going to use a a very simple example, so it's not an issue. If you are planning a family vacation, okay, I tend to be, I used to be the one who would plan, before I got married, I used to be the one who would plan pretty much the family activities. And, like, my parents were like, yeah, Lola's got it, super organized, where are we going? Like, my, I would I would give my family, like, people in my family, like, certain tasks. Like, okay, you need to go do this, this is what you need to do, you need to call. And then when I'd follow up, and I'm like, you didn't call. And so when I'm coming to have a conversation, I'm like, hey, like, I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed and frustrated because you were supposed to call this people to do this and to schedule this and you didn't do this. Like, what's going on? And then it would end up being, man, I'm so busy and I'm, I'm so overwhelmed and I just feel like I failed you and I'm so sorry and you're just so perfect and you just do everything right. I'm like, bro, this is not about me This is not, or this is not about you. This is about the fact that you did not do what you needed to do. And I feel like sometimes when you go to your team or you go to someone who had a responsibility to do a task that you are leading, that sometimes it ends up, you feel like, an, you know, for lack of a better word, sorry, an asshole, if you are are the one now saying, all right, I kind of feel frustrated because you said you were going to do A, B, C, and D. And then they kind of turn around like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And then it kind of becomes about everything that they're dealing with, which I'm not saying is not valid, but I think sometimes it makes it harder as a leader to then kind of bring your frustration because now you feel like, dang, like, all right, now you feel bad that I'm upset that you dropped the ball on this. Now I got to comfort you and make you feel better. And so I just don't think it becomes a safe, a good space as a leader to go vent to your team, especially because I think, like you said, it like kind of draws that, ba- it just, it brings that boundary down that you kind of establish. Because I think sometimes the team sees like their leader is almost like being able to manage everything, right? Even on the personal side, like, yeah, Lola's going to take care of that. Like she, she's got a handle. She's fine. 